What up, people? It's Nick Ops here. And if you notice by the title, I am dropping Cabal as my main character. I don't know about dropping him completely yet, but Cabal is no longer my main. As you can see by my record, we had a good run with him. You know, everything went well, had a good time. But I've determined that there really isn't any reason to play him no more. As y'all can see, 120 right now in the world in casual. That's without using anything that's not a tournament variation, by the way, too. And it's time for me to stop playing Cabal. It really is. As my main. And for a while, I have been looking around, finding... Well, not a while. I've been playing other characters that, you know, fit my archetype more. In case y'all didn't know, I love two things, pressure and vortexes. My favorite archetype of all is pressure, period. And that's what I love. Cabal really doesn't have that. But Cabal helped me get into the game. I learned a lot with playing this character. And I don't regret playing this character at all. But there's a reason I have stopped. The reason I've stopped playing Cabal is because there's like three reasons first reason i cannot stand playing an overrated character that's why i stopped playing kung lao a long time ago but the difference is cabal is actually good first reason there's kind of like four reasons actually um but really let's keep it around three i can't stand playing an overrated character two there's literally no reason to play clean cut Cabal when there's Cassie in the game. She's literally a better version of Cabal completely. And three, Cabal doesn't counter what I hate about the game. Now, in case y'all don't know, I usually base my character picks off of like three things. Good forward advancing mid, vortex, and the character has to stop what I hate in the game. And Cabal... He doesn't stop what I hate. And in case y'all don't know what I hate, it's Meet Burn Roll. Meet Burn Roll is by far the worst mechanic I have ever dealt with in any freaking game. Like, it is such a stupid mechanic that people don't even have defense anymore. You don't need defense. You just need Meet Burn Roll. There's multiple different wake up options in this game. There's more options to wake up than there is to mix someone up. And that's just ridiculous. The funny thing about meter burn roll is if it only costed two bars of meter, then it would definitely be fine. There would be no reason not to, there would be no reason to, you know, say anything about it. It would be balanced, but meter burn roll is just a dumb mechanic. And when there's a mechanic in the game that I hate, I literally like choose a character that deals with that mechanic. Back in MKX, I could not stand jumping. Like, jumping in that game was amazing. And I could not stand it. It was aggravating. So, what did I do? I picked up Kung Lao. And Kung Lao had one of the best anti airs in the game um, at the time when I played him. Now, they took that away. But his meter burn spin was armored. You could not jump on that man. And that's what I like. Now, Cabal, he doesn't deal with meter burn roll very well. Now, what do I mean by deal with it? I mean that I want to have minimal effort of dealing with the move. I'm going to just keep it blunt. I don't want to have to go Jesse out of my plans. way to deal with meter burn roll all the Come time. On. It's something I hate, and I'm willing to have some things that I don't like about a character, you Sans know, if they deal with the, the thing that I hate. And I cannot stand meter burn roll. Now, that's the first, well, that's the first main reason, but I listed it as my number third. So if we set Cabal, do this right here. Oh, wait, matter of fact, we're just going to do practice options. We're going to go to get up mode, forward roll. Now, 
Cassie doesn't care about your meter burn roll. Oh, that's it. Okay, get up attack. Get up forward roll. Cabal's getting punished all day if you meet a brown roll on him. That was one of the big deciding factors why I decided to stop playing this character. I hate meet a brown roll, but it's not, you know, the only reason. It takes more than that. Like I said, to the second reason, Cassie. Cassie is a better version of Cabal. I've talked about this with the best Cabal in the world. He also agrees. I've seen a few other people that agree because it's just true. Cabal, forward advance and mid. Cassie, forward advance and mid. That is better. Cabal, if we go to Cabal real quick. Nine frame mid in the overhead. Cassie, nine frame men in the overhead that you can combo off of. Like, Cabal, stiff normals. Cassie, fast, quick normals. Like, anything that Cabal does besides the jumping projectile, Cassie does better. So, I don't see any reason to play Cabal. I tried to pick up Mean Streak to see if I would like that one, but I really didn't. To be honest i did not like mean streak and it's not really my style i think to play mean streak you got to have a unique style you know of what you like and i don't really like playing mean streak that much i tried to try to keep this character in my arsenal but no reason to play it now i had a friend tell me when i was explaining this to a friend he was like you know why don't you just play cabal for the fact that he has corner combos and Cassie doesn't. So, come on, if he does something like this. His main corner combo, if you're not trying to get one, like if you're trying, you can do something like this right here. One, two, three. That right there. Or you could do. that or oops that missed or does that work in the corner hold up let me try it again okay it worked or you can do that too slow so i mean that is good but it's not a good enough reason for me to stay on the character now, if he, maybe if he got the restand in the corner, but he really doesn't unless he does something like this. Or jumps over and then gets the restand. So, it's right here. If he has like a jump kick. That's some good damage. But, that's, you know, the main two reasons I'm not playing this character that much anymore. And the third reason, he's very overrated. When I made the video that uh, Cabal is the most overrated character in the game, people were trying to say, who overrates Cabal? What are you talking about? I'm like, have y'all not seen some tier list out there? Like, there's literally people putting him in top five or freaking dang near top five. He's nowhere near that. This character is the definition of mid mid, like, just straight up a mid mid tier maybe high mid if you want to you know debate it but this character is just mid he's solid he's very good and people's like people are like he's always safe okay you want to know who else can be always safe katana look at her he has a mid into overhead this mid overhead i don't know why people act like this mid is a true mid it's not really a true mid like it's a mid, but it doesn't have the properties of a real mid all the time. It's finicky and inconsistent. Then people say, um, his range. Yeah, his range is good, but like this one person said, his, his range is very stilted. I think he said something like that. And yes, it is. You throw this out, you got to commit. 
Everything about Cabal is a commitment, no matter what you do in this variation. And another person was like, I always hear people talking about Cabal. Oh, he's so good. But nobody's really, not a lot of people are doing that great with him. Exactly. A lot of people say he is because if you look at his tool set, it seems like he's very amazing. It really does. Like, it seems like he's dang near, like, S tier or around that if you just look at his tool set without actually trying it for yourself i can easily understand how somebody could think this character is top five but by this time now people should realize like okay yeah maybe we were over exaggerating or everything or maybe we didn't know but like i said he's still a solid pick and i recommend cabal for people who just want to be safe all the time but understand that the penalty for being a safe character all the time against somebody who knows how to take their turn, Cabal just always has to stop. Always. And, you know, if you want some more pro opinions on this character, if you don't want to just take my word for it, uh, Foxy Grandpa, the best lie in the world, thinks he's overrated too, and Tweety, and the best Cabal. I said this in my last video, but not complaining about the character at all i had good times with the character i don't regret playing him in any shape or form but the character is just not my main anymore he's not so if y'all would like me to release like a going away guide for cabal i'll do that if y'all are still interested in learning the character but as far as me i'm not gonna continue to main this character because i honestly don't see the point and yeah, that's about it. If you all enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Twitch and my Patreon. And Nick Ops out.